One of the most exciting things about being in dentistry today is the fact that things have exploded as far as the quality of what we can produce aesthetically. We can create teeth today that are so beautiful. And as one who started in 1982, where everything was metal or metal to porcelain, I can tell you it's very, very exciting to be a dentist today. But with that great advancement that we have in aesthetics, we also have a tremendous responsibility. And that is that we must also make sure that the function of what we produce is acceptable. So form, beauty, aesthetics follows function, which is the fit of the bite and how occlusion in dentistry works. So this is a subject that we need to talk about because most dentists would say they feel undertrained, particularly young new dentists that we work with feel very inadequate in their knowledge of dental occlusion. There's four primary areas of occlusion that I would like to speak with your group about that are critical to understand to get predictability day in and day out in dentistry. Number one is they must understand the condition and position of the jaw joints. That's the starting point of dental occlusion. Second thing is they must understand anterior guidance. That is, once you bite together, how do you guide off of the proper teeth in contact when you move your jaw left, right, and forward? The third thing that's also critically important is what we call vertical dimension of occlusion. That is the height of the bite. That often is a subject that is confusing to dentists and they're not quite sure when they're doing things correctly or when they're actually creating a problem. So we can clarify that. And the fourth important subject is what we might call parafunction. That is the side normal function, clenching, grinding, uh, sore muscles, headaches, all these things that can be connected with occlusion and particularly occlusal problems. So I wanna talk about these four things together with you. Uh, fortunately, this is the topic that I have spent my career focused on as I practiced first with Dr. Peter Dawson, who literally wrote the textbook on this subject and also have practiced in a practice that is focused on problem solving, mainly problems of dental occlusion for 35 years, as well as teaching thousands of dentists to the Dawson Academy and around the United States and beyond on this subject of dental occlusion and aesthetics and my relationship. So I'm excited to be able to share with you and I look forward to the opportunity to share with your group. Mm -hmm.